Central Otago is a landscape of mythology. An heroic place of ample skies, sea mountains and valleys that will fry you in February and freeze you in July. It is a place that engages both the people who live there and those who pass through. A place of quiet and disquiet, where the honey of existence seeps into your bones and never quite leaves. The Rail Trail is a unique corridor into and through the Central Otago landscape. It opens up inaccessible country, exquisite to travel over with company or in solitude. And along the way you'll find the kindness of southern souls, the welcome of tiny pubs and modern cafes, towns and dwellings sprinkled like rhinestones along the trail's edge. Now rail has given way to a gentler pace that opens up a different face in every season, and the extra satisfaction of experiencing it all under your own steam. So let's meet the team undertaking this epic journey. Here we have Lance Armstrong. Here goes Lance Armstrong. Oh, he's good. Hold on, that's not Lance, that's Colin. What an uncanny likeness. Next up we have Rachel. Reckon we can convert her to space? <laughs> Give us a wave, Rach. And here we have, going at his own pace, Bruce. When Bruce suggested we try the cycling caper, I thought he'd be in the cactus, eh? Surely you'd come a cropper on this ginormous hill. How you feeling, Brucey? Oh, I'm just checking out the countryside. You guys are missing the scenes. I reckon, look at the scene. But he was rearing to go and we all had a hoolie. Hoff, 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 hoff. We're not stuck in a rut, hey? Eh? And here we have the two lovely ladies who took great care of us along the trail. We couldn't have done it without you. The Otago Central Branch Railway was one of the more interesting lines of the New Zealand Railways network. It had a checkered history even to get approval for construction, with competing propositions for the route to be followed to reach central Otago. Dunedin at first was conspicuous by its lack of enthusiasm for the venture. The battle for the railway was eventually decided by Parliament, and on completion in 1921, having taken 42 years to complete, the line would bring prosperity to many small settlements along its route, many of these towns having been stopovers for Cobb Co coaches before the advent of the railway. Here we are on the Wingatui Viaduct, still being the largest wrought iron structure in New Zealand, at 197 metres long and 47 metres above the stream bed. Unfortunately, the line gradually became uneconomical and was closed in 1990. The section from Wingatui through to Middlemarch remained open and became the Tyree Gorge Railway, one of the most spectacular railway journeys in New Zealand. As a result of an initiative by the Department of Conservation, the line was acquired by the department in 1993. Some six years, and more than $850,000 later, the Otago Central Rail Trail was opened by the then Governor General, Sir Michael Hardy Boyd. Hmm. And here we have Colin and Rachel cycling the road between Pukarangi and Middlemarsh, where our trail begins.
Here, and then you took you guys took the train up there to Pukerangi. Bruce went all the way around here, and then back into Pukerangi. Okay. Oh, that wound around. No, that went um, up over high hills. Oh, no, because that's no, no, no. There's no connection to roads. That's, that's only the train track. I should have tried them out. But you can drive. drive yeah. There's lots of sort of four-wheel drive tracks in yeah. on the train track, so you oh, know yeah. people were people were in there with vehicles. Okay, up and down that road, eh? Boy, so yeah. It was funny to be the cutting and sort of. So and then yeah, was so we all met up in Pukerangi, and Karen very kindly drove me to there, and you guys took yeah, that Mount Ross Road or something, yeah. and you went round the shortcut. I mean, long cut. Long cut middle Yeah. So so. Where we are is middle March, so okay. It's all good. Okay, so here we are with some spooky doggies that Johnny lovingly gave Scott for Christmas. And we've got Bruce's bike over here, and we're gonna decorate his bike. It's very prettily. Let's go. <laughs> Push it along a bit, Pop, and see what sound go, it makes. Go for a ride and see what it sounds like. Go for a ride, Pop. See if I get lost, you're about to we can find hear you. me. Yeah. Might need my whistle. Oh, yeah, you just need to go... Just go fast. You just need to go fast and you won't be able to hear it. Hard to get on. Hard to get on. Even hard to get on. Hard to get on. Real hard to get on. <laughs> I'm pinching your bike, mate. I that is now my bike. This is now your <laughs> bike. We've got about 20, what do you call them? <laughs> they're called Spoky Dokes. I think they're cool. Yeah. Welcome to the Central Otago Rail Trail. Yeah. 
So, um, you know, leaning over the edge, at least it wasn't me anyway, I suppose. Was it Rachel that did it? Yeah. No, I just leaned over the edge and took my helmet off. And oh, is that the lens over there in the glass over there? <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> could be, could be. Oh, boy. <laughs> this is a bit serious. <laughs> Long to go on something. He's like a told off from somewhere. It's a little bit scary getting this on film now, uh, Scott. <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh, you've blown no. the nails. No, no, mate. What happens on these trips, mate, stays on these yeah, trips, yeah, doesn't yeah. it? You do them. Oh, straight down on the in the, in the river and the ro on the rocks. <laughs> yep. Oh, three steps oh, ahead. You don't stand on them. <laughs> Two steps ahead. You're just blowing it. Hey, fantastic! I hope they're intact. Hey? Have they got lenses? <laughs> Are all the bits there? This bit here too? Hey? I hope all the bits are there. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, I don't know if I can find some more exactly the same around here. Just to replace them. Yeah, that's what you have to do, just get some the same. Oh, maybe you couldn't find them, I wouldn't think. Hey? You couldn't better find them very easy. Off Rachel. they came, they're not very good glasses, they don't stay on properly. Are they in one piece? Maybe. Oh, so. oh, oh, Still maybe. Lucky. I'm a bit nervous. Oh, oh. We'll be well done. We'll very, very season. nervous. <laughs> oh, both lenses are there. Might be no? Stick that together. Both off edges, okay? And all there. Very, very much, eh? Oh, dear, eh? Oh. On the 4th of June, 1943, the Cromwell to Dunedin Express was made up of seven carriages and carrying 113 passengers, many of them heading for the winter show in Dunedin. The train was travelling at a speed faster than it was supposed to when it hit a bend in a deep cutting and came off the rails. In the impact, all seven carriages were derailed and four of them telescoped into each other. It took one and a half hours for the rescue party to arrive, some of the passengers being trapped in the wreckage for over six hours. A commission of inquiry found that at the time of the derailment, the express was travelling at over 70 kilometres an hour, more than twice the speed it should have been moving when it came to the bend. The commission also found that the driver was responsible for the derailment of the train because of the dangerous speed and reckless driving. He was found to have overindulged at the Ranfurly Tavern that morning, with the alcohol affecting his driving ability and judgement. He was charged and found guilty of manslaughter.
The tyres are chunky as pop. No, they're on me. It wasn't my fault at all. They can't go up this way, though. <laughs> you can't get up here, mate. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> Hear the spooky dokies. <laughs> this is the pro attempting it. <laughs> And he's lost his chain. <laughs> Take two. Yeah. Bruce, he got further than that. <laughs> Hello guys! Hi! Yeah, but Colin's beat you through the gate! Oh, who's, who's lost? Oh. I followed him, I tricked him. Bruce lost the race. Colin beat you home. Oh, so, um, it was a race! So these got, yeah, but, you came last! But, yeah, but these guys came last, these guys are going to... Uh, for me and look after me and oh, that was well, the deal. That was the deal. Yeah. Oh, I, I, that's what I heard. Oh, yeah, that's I hear weird. you two have both that was heard it. It's good tomorrow's a little way. I think. <laughs> talking on the cell phone to his girlfriend and um, yeah the road's not too bumpy at the moment we're enjoying a quiet time and Bruce is really happy without Jeanette to nag him and here are some hills looking really lovely some cloud over top I just put on that and it lovely pink post here holding this 
<laughs> Isn't it lovely? Just wait a while here, Scott. I'm missing Jeanette so much I have to phone her up. See how she's going. I don't remember oh, what's going on. Oh, Christ, I need to talk to Jeanette. <laughs> oh, I found it. Thank goodness. I can get. What even be a message from her? Oh, my dear, she's um, texting me already. Oh, it's from Jeanette. Sweet. Hope you're doing all right. We're having a fantastic time here. All the best, Dana. And look, we've been checking out the dress shops at Naseby for you too. So we're doing good here, aren't we? See ya.
He's got to beat a minute 15. He's not even rushing the... He's studying the uh, way the hinges go. No, Bruce! <laughs> <laughs> he's learnt from me. Oh, he's learnt from you. Yeah. Oh, he's on 15 seconds, Bruce! Looks it's looks promising. It's looking good, Colin! Hurry! <laughs> she wants to do it. He's not even rushing. Oh, he wouldn't. She's just been a pain. He should be handicapped. <laughs> <laughs> we don't really get padlock gates on a farm. <laughs> He's done this before. <laughs> He's just going so <laughs> Quick, Colin! <laughs> Slam the door and 45 seconds. <laughs> 45, eh? 45. Yeah, 45. He bet your 1 minute 15 with a padlock. <laughs> That's okay, Bruce. It's only 30 seconds more. Here I am, ready for curling. Do you like my feet? Looking good with my grippers. Ready to take on the champion of the world. No. We are the champion, my friends. <laughs> I paid my dues, time after time. I've done my sentence, but committed no crime. And bad mistakes I've made a few I've had my shoes and kicked in my
hands. Saint Bethens. The name conjures up images of the Mediterranean Sea, beachside resorts, cocktails, and lounging beside the ocean. Well, we went to St. Bethan's right here in New Zealand, and this is what we found. Turns out St. Bethan's is full of history. As we zoom out, we see Kildare Hill. Hold on, that's a lake. Well, it was once a hill 120 meters high, but as a result of miners chipping and sluicing their way through the quartz rock, by 1933, the hill had become a 168 meter deep pit. The minerals in the surrounding rocks give the water its astonishing blue colour, which is offset by surrounding columns of white quartz tailings. The Vulcan Hotel, built in 1882, is a fine example of mud brick construction. It's a great place to share tall stories over an ale or two, and offers meals and a small amount of comfortable accommodation. Overnight, I should be aware that many people believe this fine public house has a resident ghost. Just don't stay in room number one. Here we have the local gold office and bank. And finally, the two-story Kauri Post Office that opened in 1909 and is still in operation. This is your personal challenge, Jim. Pardon? Personal challenge. Oh, so many good wine. You can finish that. All that. There you go. Is that worth it? We're right for that. I'll show you our next wine if you finish. Yeah, Rachel's, Rachel's going to shout me a wine if I finish, and so is Karen. So that's good wine. Oh, okay. Well, I'll drink the first wine now and see how I get on. Why don't we a bottle of wine? Okay. Cheers. Maybe. Maybe. No. It's not that thing, Bruce. No. It's not. It's soft. It's melts away. It's fun. Yeah. Yeah. And this one actually has a crust. Oh, yeah. It's about five. Well, no. The crust and the body of it are all the same stuff. I just want to be moistened, Bruce. I give you one. I give you one big one. Then. Open your lips. Something strange at work here. Some evil gives speed to these creatures. Sets its will against us. Legolas, what do your elf eyes see? The Uruk's turned northeast. They're taking the hobbits to Isengard.
What do you think? Pig out on the way. Monument closures don't make it up. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's a Doesn't look downhill. I always thought, I thought we would be climbing all the way to the tunnel, I guess. We knew this. Hey? We thought 4Ks, but that doesn't seem 4Ks. Oh my goodness. It's even a lot further. Oh, sorry, sorry. No, no, I seem to race along, right? Yeah. You see, yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. 6.8. Looks a bit more uphill here. Well, we started that. Can't be. No good. We've made it. It doesn't look down here. So here we are, preparing for the last day on the trail. Turns out it rained non-stop all the way from Omakao to Clyde, but we made it in the end. In nature's scheme of things, there are certain plants which are carnivorous, or eating plants. The Venus flytrap is one of the best known of these plants. A fly drawn to the plant by a sweet syrup, brushes against trigger bristles. Just how these plants digest their prey has yet to be explained. There is much still to learn about these fascinating eating plants. This is a newcomer, Trifidus celestus, brought to Earth on the meteorites during the day of the Trifids. <laughs> I recommend anyone to have a crack at the rail trail. You know, you've got to all test out the hotels as you go. I think the old hotels in Otago are the most unique hotels that would be in New Zealand. They're just uh, beautiful places. And um, yeah, no, I just enjoyed the whole trip. It's all cool. It's been a great trip. A few highlights, a few lowlights. Big ups to the curling. That was pretty fantastic. Um, yeah, bit of a, few, bit of a, pretty much turn into a multi-day pub crawl around Central Otago, stopping on all those little country pubs and might, might, may have been converted to spates on this trip, maybe, but we'll see. So, good bunch, good fun, good times, um, these uh, flight muscles of mine are really toned up now, I'm ready for a year, I'm, uh, I've enjoyed it very much. So thanks to everybody, thanks for all the fun, thanks for yeah, the good times and uh, the great memories and uh, hope we can do it again sometime. Great. The trip around Central Otago has been lots of fun. Karen and I have had some really good times together exploring antique shops and junk shops 
in wine shops and supermarkets and the countryside as well and all the cool little cafes and taverns in between so that's been really great and it's been really cool to get together with the rest of the party in the afternoons and evenings and hear about the things that they've seen. Well we've just had a lovely week. Um, Jeanette and I have been cruising in our car. We had a great time together. I hope she feels the same way. Did lots of shopping and stopping off. We did some four wheel driving of our own in the rental car. Um, we looked down from a cliff top and um, luckily Jeanette was a very good driver so I did feel quite safe. Hey guys, just want to say um, thanks to the team for putting up with me with all my recordings and stopping and starting and all that sort of thing. It's been awesome. It's been a great trip. Um, everyone did well. Um, and we could have more. So it's family excursions. So start planning now. Thanks. Cheers. Personal stuff. Hey, not right. Not right. Hey, mine. <laughs>